The man at the plough sees the horde sweeping down from the hill. They kill him and his family, torch his house and ride on to destroy the city. The civilization is wiped out. The sailor on the quay sees the ship sailing into the harbour. The rats in its hold scurry ashore. The fleas on their fur spread the plague through the town. The civilization is crippled. Why has this happened? What is the reason? Men with learning look to God and work out the answer. Their sins and sinfulness have brought down God's judgment on them. They are afflicted by force and pestilence because of the acts they have committed and the darkness of their hearts. They must repent before God and make reparation. People still seek explanations, no matter how far-fetched. A president loses his position because a great conspiracy of shadowy politicians had the means to steal the election. The COVID-19 fiction is pervaded by unidentified forces that want to take us into their control by injecting microchips into our bodies. The world is in the grip of, an, of a conspiracy that controls governments, banks and international organisations. G.K. Chesterton said, when people stop believing in God, they don't then believe in nothing, they believe in anything. Has God then gone away? Was God an illusion? No, of course not. God is present in the selflessness and compassion brought out in people by what is happening in our society now.